Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Roll of Hex. So now this is the actual right version that we're playing in compared to what I had before, which I guess was an outdated version, which is, I mean, that's the version that I got from, it's one of the websites I made a video talking about, uh, where I talked about five websites that you can use to get free Steam keys. All legitimate websites, they're all for YouTubers and things like that, but I guess the one that I used, um, I think it was the Terminals one, whatever. I had an outdated version of it, um, which, whatever, I mean, it, it still allows you to play it, but I must say, I do definitely like this one a lot more. I mean, there's, you know, all these different things that you can check out and all these different upgrades, and I love the music of this game as well, like, it's just, it's, it's amazing. So, I'm having, I'm gonna have a good time playing this, so, let's, without further ado, let's just get into the first one. Um... Okay, I'm trying to... Okay. Do recall... How to... Do certain things. Ooh, there's a damage thing. That's actually pretty nice. Okay. Build another one of those. Just so we can kind of have some defense for this area next. How much is it? Ah, so it costs more. Oh, never mind. Uh, cheaper structures, stronger gears, damage on kill. Um, yeah, we'll decrease the price of structures. I actually think that's probably going to be better. Oh, that happens. I did not realize that would happen. Okay. That's, that's, that's not good. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Somehow we're alive. Somehow things are still, still good. Okay. Still on hit attack speed, projectile speed. We'll go for attack speed. Why not? Um... Build another defense right there. Let's see. Kind of have to wait a little bit while we wait for resources to pile back up. Jeez. I, I mean, I love this game. I really do. It's so... It, it, it's so fun. Even when I played the outdated version, it was still, like, I still had a really good time, and I loved it. Oh, oh okay, I should probably, probably build some defenses. Um, oh, yes! The auto-build thing. Um... Yeah, honestly, I'm gonna go for auto build. Okay, big explosion. Okay, that thing is. Okay, okay. We may need some more defense or some barrier uh, guys. I don't fully remember what they're called, but we're gonna put that guy there. Oh, and that's right where it built the. Okay, whatever. Okay, should we upgrade this? Ooh, yes. Okay, okay. I'm gonna upgrade that a little bit more. We could put a defense turret right there. See, at least with the spheres, um, they they get hit back, so that gives them gives my guys a little bit of time to build back the barrier. Uh, we're gonna put that there, I think, just to keep that defended. Um, okay, and then that's... Yeah, we definitely need more turrets, because these guys are coming out really, really quickly. A lot faster than I would like them to. 
And there's a ton of them as well. Slow on hit. We'll go with slow on hit. And we'll put another defensive guy there. Active ability. Um, we'll go with that one. Okay, I'm gonna try. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, that got destroyed. Okay. Oh gosh. Um. Build another barrier thing right there. The only thing that's really keeping me alive right now is the fact that they do um, AOE. Like the the t uh, the turrets do AOE damage. That's really what's keeping me alive right now. Because without that, I am I would 100% be screwed. Oh gosh. Yeah, things are things are not looking too hot. Oh no. Yeah, things are getting a little out of hand. Um. My gosh, how do you even how do you even counter this? That's what I don't understand. It's look at this. Like how do you counter this? You just have to like increase the damage of every cannon. Drains less than fifty percent shield. Matex uh, it is electrified by every barrier during that protects the building. Let's create four taxes. We'll go with that, I guess. Yeah, I I have no idea what could even like really save the build right now. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Like my gosh, yeah. How do you counter all of this? Oh my gosh. No, yeah, I'm screwed. They just, they pile up so quickly in this one. Okay, I got some equipment. Which is good. Um, let's upgrade cannons, cannons into behemoths. Okay. Does it matter where you put it? I guess not. Ah. So these are just like modules that I have unlocked. Okay. Okay. Well, let's honestly get back into this, I guess. Uh, behemoth. What do they do again? They just be fired once. I cannot hit enemies too close and it fires very slowly, but deals massive area of effect. Okay. So let's let's just start building, I guess. And let's put some of these guys around. And then we could have like the behemoths in the center. Well, we have the normal cannons around the out outer part. I'm gonna try to put like a behemoth, I'm thinking like right here. I think that would probably be a good spot for it. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna have to put a bunch of cannons down for now, I guess. Because otherwise they're gonna just get destroyed. Maybe I should go for more active abilities? I'm not sure. Behemoth probably right here. Come on. I have to have enough. Are you kidding me? I'm off by point four. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I see a slight issue with that. We'll go with that. Go with building cost. Barriers, maybe. I think I'm just gonna keep going for more attack speed because I think that's probably the better option. Put a behemoth like right there. Yeah, see, the only problem with the behemoths is that like they they attack. They're like they're, they're like a mortar, right? So the mortar, when it goes off, it has to land in an area and then it'll explode. But with the cannons, it's like they just shoot straight forward, they kill everything straight ahead of them. So the mortars can miss, and they oftentimes do miss. Because they have to, they're not great at predicting where a enemy unit is gonna move, they just shoot at where it, where it was. See, like, it missed that one. It hit the one behind it, but it wasn't aiming for the one behind it. It was aiming for the one and aiming for that one. So, they're not the most reliable ways of defending the base. Also, can you switch them? I'm not sure. Guess not. It wasn't letting me build anything there, so I'm assuming you probably can. Uh, we'll go for that one. Just to kind of build back up the defenses. Oh, okay, survive for three minutes without, or one minute without doing anything. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, the base, for the most part, should be okay by itself. Specialize later, get resources. Ah. Every explosion of being doubled in damage and radius. Okay. This is the damage of every cannon. Okay, kills create vortexes. I'm probably gonna go with that.
Increasing projectile speed would actually probably be like a good idea. Um, when it comes to shields regen, go with oversized capacitor. But when it comes to like the the behemoths, it probably would actually be a good idea to have some pro some projectile speed upgrades. Gonna go for more resources. Put another behemoth down. Yeah, I think that the behemoths are definitely helping out a lot. Helping deal with some of the AO, the 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 swarms. That's just. Projectile speed. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Is increase the projectile speed because they'll they'll at least be able to hit their. Hopefully they'll be able to actually hit their target instead of just hitting the unit either behind it or in front or... Trying to build this cannon. Okay, finally able to build it. Probably slow on hit, I think slowing them down would be a good idea, because there's going to be a lot of them, and it's mainly swarms. Swarm is the biggest problem, so... So yeah, things like, um... The behemoths are going to be really good to have. Sorry, I'm just, I'm really focused, I'm just kind of thinking. I'm trying to think of where else to kind of put some of my towers, because... Maybe like a behemoth there? Because it... Sorry, I should be talking through my thoughts rather than just <laughs> sitting here in silence. Uh, let's go for more projectile speed. Like I said, hopefully that will... Oh yeah, and if I build things on here, then it reduces the price anyways. So actually, that's this is th this upgrade here. The growth upgrade is actually going to be saving me a lot of money, which is awesome. Okay, okay. And then this obviously just builds free, free uh, barrier generators. Construction on kill. The tile spawning there. You can click this icon. Eh, I don't know. Clone factory, that's what I want. Select an upgrade to be cloned forever? Uh, I guess I'll go with that. That's not really the one that I... I guess... Uh, I was hoping for something a little bit better than that, but... I guess that's fine. I'm gonna actually put some behemoths on like more of the inside because they have a really far range anyways so having them more on the inside is just gonna like I can't put cannons there the only thing that I could maybe put there are like barriers but I think the behemoths are probably gonna do a little bit better than more barriers would so yeah now the behemoths actually like hit their targets because I increased the projectile speed
Let's see, yeah, we'll go for another one of those. Just kind of keep building more and more defenses. Honestly, the behemoths might be better for now. Um, especially if I can increase the projectile speed. I think the only thing that was keeping them from being, like, the best tower to use was the... the um, slow projectile speed, maybe, maybe, um, attack speed as well, but it was mainly the projectile speed that I think was causing them problems. So, I think with, I think since their, the projectile speed isn't really much of an issue anymore, I think we should actually probably be good on, we can just build some more, oh, nice. Real acquired equipment. Um, honestly, I'll just I'll probably keep it for now. I'm happy with that. Um, I think I think we're actually probably gonna maybe move on to something else. Maybe in the future video. In a future video, this game is so fun. I genuinely have am having a really good time playing it so um highly recommend checking this this game out on steam uh whenever you guys get the opportunity to and uh and yeah my name is sam and yeah if you guys enjoyed the, the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel it means the world to me it doesn't cost you guys anything and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one you guys take care